let's talk about now tacking the floor. And just like with vacuuming, I mean, it's a, it's a simple little process and we may not think there's much, there is much to it. But if you think a little bit about, again, what am I actually trying to do and, and why do I want to do it? Um, it'll make you think about how am I doing it and is there a different way uh, of how we might do it. So we've already vacuumed our floor. I got all the dust bunnies out uh, from under the trim work. So now I'm gonna take a microfiber cloth. I dampened it. You could also just use a terry cloth as well. And I'm gonna go around the perimeter, you know, probably 12 to 18 inches out just to create a safe zone. Then I'm gonna come back and that'll do be all the way around the edge of my room. Then I'm gonna come back and do the main field with, uh, you know, just with my bone and mop and with the combination uh, cut pile, twist pile on here. Now why I'm doing that is, you know, I want to avoid taking my, my mop when I'm doing the main part of the field and running it into the walls to get close to them every time I get down next to the wall. Because if my walls are a little dirty or I've got something, you know, still under the trim work or whatever there, every time I run this mop into the wall, I chance I'm going to knock other particles back down onto the floor, so I'm kind of defeating my purpose of, of why I'm tacking. So now we've created our safe space with the microfiber uh, cloth, and now we're going to go ahead and, ahead and hit it with the bone and mop. The other thing that you'll see with the bone and mop is I'm always going to be keeping this wide edge right here. That's always going to be my leading edge. So I never take it up like to the wall and then pull back and go the other way. Because where I pulled away from, I may be leaving a, a mound of debris there. Not a mound, but you know, a little pile. So I'm always going to keep rotating and keep that leading edge of my mop going the same way so that I should trap most of any of the material that's left on the floor in this front part of the mop, okay? So let's do a quick demo here. So as I get down to where my safe zone was, right, I'm staying away from that wall. I'm just rotating my mop, coming back the other way as I get down to the other wall. My leading edge stays in the same place. I get down to where that safe zone was. I'm staying away from the wall. I'm overlapping just a little bit, maybe a board. So again, if you've been tacking a certain way or not tacking and having results that you don't like, just have that discussion. You know, what are we doing? Why are we doing it? What is the end game that we want to achieve? and then discuss some different ways that you might go about that, either some different tools, techniques, or methods.